listen you guys i have been through it to film this video <laughs> my hair's a mess as i was filming halfway through my ring light broke i turned off my camera without thinking about it and so it ended up not recording the first two looks that i did so i had to completely take my makeup off and then refilm it my eyes are super sensitive they are not happy with me right now my camera froze while i was trying to take some thumbnail pictures and <sighs> Y'all better like this video. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm gonna do three different looks to inspire you with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. All of the looks that I did and went for today, I wanted to keep it super simple for you guys. I wanted all three looks to be wearable and very easy to do with simple techniques. There's a lot of other looks that I want to create that aren't quite so simple or wearable. Like I wanna do a super black smoky eye. I just, I wanted to keep it simple for you guys because I think you guys tend to appreciate those tutorials more. I want you to be able to to wear them and recreate them very easily but i'm still loving this palette i also have a fourth look which is an all gray smoky eye on my original review of this palette and yeah anyways so if you would like to see three additional looks with the natasha denona glam palette then just keep watching For the health and safety of my eyelids, I'm gonna do two of the looks on one face. So one look here and one look here because my eyes are very sensitive to removing and then reapplying makeup. I hate having to do that, but duty calls. You guys want some tutorials. For this look, I think I want to do like an all brown neutral <laughs> smoky eye, obviously, because this is more of a cool tone palette. But we do have some browns that lean more cool neutral. We're gonna start off with this shade right here, which is a blend shade. Um, I am using a BK Beauty 201 brush for this and we're going to put this everywhere. So this is going to be a pretty simple brown smoky eye. Next we're going into the smoke shade with a BK Beauty 202 and I'm going to blend this. Mostly focusing this color on the outer corner and then whatever's left on the brush work it inwards just like so. And this color blends blends out beautifully and really smokes everything out. Next we're using this shade right here which is labeled as outer eyelid but I think it's a beautiful neutral deep brown. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. I just find it easier with shimmer shades as most people do. And then to make everything seamless, go in with your crease brush and work it in. Next, we're taking the black shade in the middle. I'm using a Morphe M507 and I'm slowly packing this into the outer portion of the crease. This palette just screams smoky eye to me. So when I grab it, I just want to always do something that's really smoky. And I'm just using a touch of the black, nothing crazy, just to add that little extra depth. We're gonna take this shade right here, which is a center eyelid shade. I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my face, and when I'm back, this eye will be done, but we're just gonna finish this half of the look. So for the lower lash line, I'm taking my Tom Ford 14 brush and we're taking the smoke shade. We're gonna start off with this. Make sure you tap off the excess and trace this all the way along the lower lash line. And then take just a touch of the black shade to smoke it out. Just a touch, and if you have a little bit too much, bring it along the upper lash line like so. If you want it to be a little bit more feathered out, just smokier, I'm taking the small M507 from Morphe just working the shades. Okay, so that's all for shadow. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and you'll see the final look. All right, you guys, so here is the first look, as you can see, so you can get an idea. It's just this gorgeous, neutral brown, smoky eye. I'm obsessed with this look. Please try it out. It's so easy to do. So for the second look, I'm looking to do something a little bit more open-eyed and awake. So to start, I'm gonna mix this brown crease shade with this grayish transition shade, and we're gonna get the best of cooler gray and cooler brown with this mix. I'm 
using a BK21 and I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner to start and then whatever's left over on my brush, I'm gonna move it forward. This palette does not have a lot of mattes, so you'll find that I'm using kind of the same matte shades. I would have liked to have seen a bit more variety in the mattes with this palette. I mean, but they are essential colors that are going to be used a lot when you use this palette. With the Tom Ford 14 brush, I'm going into this smoke shade. So for this, I wanna create kind of like a winged out effect. So I'm gonna focus this starting on the outer half of my lash line, and then we're gonna bring it out, almost like a little bit of a smoky wing. And then whatever's left over on your brush, I really packed it on. I'm just gonna kind of blend up into the outer corner of my crease. And I'm even blending it all the way up here, kind of creating this V shape really work on softening those edges. So as you can see, we're keeping the depth out here and I'm going to take some of my Kaleidos Tone Activator and a Refer 21 brush. And I like this because it's a little bit more sheer. It's not really thick or super pigmented, but I wanna just open up this eye area really. So I'm taking the Kaleidos Tone Activator, pressing it down and then I'm blending it out with my finger just to really brighten. And I actually think I want to add kind of a cut crease guide. So I'm just gonna do that, fill it in a little bit, but just really rough, not super crisp. I'm not going for that look. With the Wayne Goss number seven, I'm taking this inner corner color. Now this is one of two shades that kind of have that crystal powder formula. So I really want this all over the lid. And I'm gonna do kind of a really soft, almost faux cut crease. And this brush is perfect for that because it gives you that defined edge, but obviously it's not gonna be as harsh as like a real cut crease and you see how gorgeous this shade is and I'm basically just mapping out that cut crease shade with this brush and I'm not gonna blend it up I'm just gonna leave it like that now I'm gonna take those first two crease colors that we mixed together on my morphe m507 and I'm going to bring the depth back into this area like so even go in with a little bit of the smoke shade that we used I'm loving this look so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and then I'll do the lower lash line with you guys. So for the lower lash line, we're again going to mix these two shades. I'm using my Tom Ford 14 brush. I'm gonna run this along the outer half of my lower lash line. I want to keep it very cool, not too dark. And then we're gonna take this shade again also. And we're gonna stamp it along the inner half of the lower lash line. So this is gonna keep this eye very nice and bright. You can bring it into the inner corner as well. But do you see just how completely different these two eye looks? How this one, I mean, it's nice, deep, and smoky, but this one, my eyes are just like popping and bright and awake. So let me finish the look and then you'll see kind of the final eye. Okay, with liner and lashes, here is the second look. Cover it so that you can see. Very bright eyed, super cool. I really love it and I highly recommend you try this look out. I really enjoy it. So for the last and final look, I wanted to play with a couple colors that I haven't had the opportunity to put on my eye yet. Same old, same old BK201 and we're taking the brown crease shade. I'm going to blend this everywhere. This shade is going to complement the pinky eye shade that you guys wanted me to use in a look. So I'm using it in this look and I'm just getting a nice, simple crease blend right now. For some depth, we're going into the smoke shade with a 202 brush. Brush is from BK Beauty, by the way, and we're focusing this on the outer corner. Same techniques. It's just the most flattering, you know? And then also run it along the outer half of the lower lash line with whatever is left. And I'm not going for too, too much depth, just to bring in a little bit of it. So the two colors that I hadn't gotten to try that I wanted to try were this shade and this shade. So I figured I'd put them both in this look. So we're starting off with this pinky shade right here. I'm using a Wayne Goss 07 brush and I'm literally going to pat this shade everywhere. And you can see it does have that gorgeous pinky tone to it, very slight. This color is gonna look fabulous with the gray side. So if you're playing with the gray tones, put this all over the lid, you won't regret it, it will look 
fabulous. I wish I could do a fourth look playing with the grays in this shade. I just applied that to the inner third of the lid. With this Kaleidos S3 brush, we're taking the center eyelid color, which is a little bit more golden. And this shade isn't necessarily warm, but it's definitely on the warmer side or leaning a little bit more neutral as opposed to gray. And this is just showing you that you can mix a little bit more warmer tones with some cooler tones. Like I said, this isn't completely warm but I'm gonna go in with my finger. Apply the shimmer a bit too high, hold on. And then also apply this golden color to the inner half of the lower lash line and it's gonna really play with how you put it on the upper eyelid. This is a look, it's not super extravagant. I wanted to keep this tutorial very wearable for you guys, very user friendly. And I just think it plays with the pinky gray tones and a little bit more of the warmer side of this palette. So I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll show you the final look. All right, so with lashes and liner, here is the final look. What I really like about this look is I feel like it's super simple. It's very wearable, you'll feel very comfortable, but there's just a little bit of fun pop in there that you know exists. You know, like, you know you put the pink color with the gold color. Nobody else's, but you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm having a really, a really rough hair day. It's, it's been a filming session, let me just say that. Let me know what your favorite look was. I think mine was the brown smoky eye that I created on this eye. It was, ugh. I'm obsessed with it. That's like me in an eye look. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials. Overall, I am really loving this palette. I think it is fantastic. And there's so many more looks that I want to create with this palette. Like I wish I would have done like an all black smoky eye. I wish I would have done a gray and pink look. I wish I would have done like a halo eye. So many different looks that I want to create. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.